started off with uh, Clemson, Georgia. I feel like they played first game like two years ago, right? Like uh, a long time ago, like in what, 2013? Yeah. They did when Todd Gurley really was there. Todd Todd, and Deshaun Maybe Watson. I'm a little off there. I'm a little <laughs> off on the timeline there. but I'm like fine I'm, by Grandpa, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we see them play a lot. If I mean, Georgia, Clemson. The Clemson ranked at 14. Georgia, of course, number one. Um, got some notes on them. Of course, question mark is Cade Klubnik. He's going into what, year three? Mm-hmm. Right? Um, mm-hmm. You know, Dabo's not NIL, name, image, and likeness of Jesus is what he's got over there. Meanwhile, on the Georgia Bulldog side, they're throwing out Hellcats and DUIs left and right, and they can't be stopped. <laughs> um, this is Clemson's best wide receiver class this year. They haven't had a lot of weapons. I mean, you're coming off quarterbacks with Deshaun Watson and Trevor Lawrence to Kate Klubnik. I should forget DJU played a couple snaps. Um I think from a trenches standpoint, games run in the trenches. I'm giving the edge to Georgia, which I think is obvious. Big SEC boys going against the Clemson team that's uh, a little smaller on the defensive line. Uh, I think if Georgia let gets the run established early, you got uh, – is it Travis or Trevor Etienne? Trevor. That's, I get him mixed up. Trevor Etienne transfers from Florida to Georgia. He's got all the talent in the world like his brother. Uh, try to, he's got a little bit of extra motivation because his brother went to Clemson. Um, you establish a run with him early, and then you let Beck and his Lambo truck just run the field. He's got a Lambo truck. You'll see that in a little Urus that he drives around in Athens in. Uh, hopefully, it's a self-driving car. We don't need any more DUIs from them. Uh, but what do y'all think? Clemson, Georgia. I think the line's like 13 and a half. It seems like a ton. Uh, but what do you got? Uh, who do you got taking this game, Tyler? Uh, Georgia by a lot. This is a de facto home game. I mean, it's in Atlanta. I mean, sure, Clemson fans are going to travel, uh, but I think that, you know, if Clemson has any shot in this, their defense is going to keep it in them. I just don't trust this offense. You can say that this is the best wide receiver that they have, but still don't trust the guy throwing the ball to them. That's true. You got a guy on the That's other true. side, Carson Beck. Just uh, also got to for, you know, forget about, you know, like we talked all about like Florida State, how their season ended. How about Georgia's season ended? You know, they lost to Alabama yet again in the yep. SEC championship. They got knocked out of the college football playoff. This is going to be a team that's wanting to not just beat people. They're just wanting to keep that kick the ever-living crap out of people this season. Uh, so big addition uh, of Trevor Etienne coming from Florida. And uh, this defense, we already know what it's going to be. Uh, so score prediction-wise, I'll go 34-10. to 10. This is going to be a blowout, folks. Okay. Um, Wade, so Clemson has got this end-all, be-all offense coordinator who didn't look like much last year. Uh, but Garrett Riley, I think he's brothers with Lincoln Riley. Uh, you know, you could tell it wasn't his scheme. I think Davo still had his hands in the mix there. If he turns the keys over, Georgia lost a lot on the defensive side. They got a lot of younger players. You think he can scheme Clemson around some of this young talent? Maybe not a little bit of lack of experience on the Georgia side to put them up early. Maybe just steal a couple possessions there to keep it close. Yeah, I mean, I. it's all about crowd control. If you could go down the field and score right away, then maybe you could – buy yourself some time i don't know tyler let me discuss this game first yesterday and i I went a little clemson heavy and then tyler just ripped their heart out so um (laughs) i said you have florida state played (laughs) yeah i mean the more i think about it i think georgia easily covers 13 and a half um but I i do think clemson will hang around in there a little bit um but I think that Georgia defense just reloads to answer your question. I think that they, they're they going to be good. I mean, they'll have some hiccups, and maybe you can catch them early. But ultimately, I think Georgia's just going to keep pulling away. And I think they win this one like, I don't know, 34 to 20. Okay. Okay. 34 to 20. What are you, what are you thinking here? Well, what's your prediction for the Clemson, Georgia? Give us your take on the game. Uh, First, I guess, take on the game. Uh, Yeah, I – I think biggest thing is is Clemson's run defense um, has to be has to be sharp in this game. Last year they were not sharp at all. They they let up a lot uh, to teams that just weren't considered run heavy teams. Um, you know, defensively they they really struggled. And as far as as I'm concerned, you know, Cade Clubbing doesn't have any sort of marquee win yet in his Clemson career. Um, I just don't see this being the start of it yet. Um, 
especially in year three, second year starting. But I, I, I don't see that being the case here. Like Wade said, yeah, Georgia is just – it's a reload process there for them, even at quarterback. So, um, yeah, I, I expect Georgia to run the ball pretty heavy in this one and not show too much of their hand too early in the season. Uh, even with a top, you know, top ranked matchup here like this, I mean, I really think they're going to kind of be conservative in that respect, but uh, they're going to show up and play really well. I, I think the line at 13 and a half is too low. I think it probably should have been at 17, uh, all things okay. considered. So, uh, no, I've got Georgia putting up 42 points. I'm going to go 42 21. I think they'll double up on them. Okay. Well, if you're in the comments, let us know your score prediction, who you got winning. I'm taking kind of the opposite approach. I think Clemson's going to have a lot to prove, and I think that first half is going to be close. And then it's going to be one of those 31-17 type games, right? But Clemson's going to score late in the game, kind of like a garbage time touchdown to bring it close. So I'm giving me 31-24 where Clemson covers that 13-and-a-half spread. Um, something just feels different about this. It just feels a little different. Which Ano- I say that, and they're probably going to beat them by 56. Another like, note is, is – Another <laughs> note is, is, has Dabo Sweeney really had a major – like I'm talking major upset win since they've won the national championship? No. Their era has gone. If they I lose, mean, is the hot seat on fire for Dabo Sweeney? I think like, the hot seat's already – it's already, already, um, it's already going. But it's all team playoff. I mean, this yeah. loss – Gives you like one or two more losses to buy. Sure. I mean, you just have to win the losses. ACC championship. I think the ACC yeah. winner is going to have two or three losses. The way that this uh, twelve-team playoff sets up nicely for Dabo because they can make the playoff every four years, keep everybody happy. Um, they're always going to be an upper half SEC, ACC team. I mean, they could they could not even recruit and get seventh in this conference year in year out. 